deep in the Mojave Desert, you'll find what remains of Amboy. This place was originally settled in the 1850s as a mining camp. This is Bristle Dry Lake, just south of town. See that white stuff? It's all salt. This place has 60 million tons of salt in reserve. People began mining it in the 1850s and operations continue to this day. You can see these evaporation ponds from Amboy Road. Sodium chloride condenses into brilliant white crystals along the edges. The greenish water left behind is a concentrated solution of calcium chloride. The town was officially established in 1883 when Union Pacific built some tracks through the area. Nobody really seems to know why the name Amboy was chosen. Route 66 was established in the 1920s, connecting Chicago to LA. It directed traffic right through Amboy. The town boomed. Three large service stations and several other businesses opened up. Roy's is the only service station that hasn't been demolished. It was built by Roy Crowell in the late 30s, early 40s. He ran it with his wife, daughter, and son-in-law. This retro, future-style building is the lobby. You can't go inside, but you can pretty much see everything from outside anyway. All the overnight cottages, or cabins, whatever you want to call them, are still standing. You're allowed to enter and explore these, at least for the time being. Inside these cottages, weary travelers would have access to basic amenities, like sinks, toilets, and of course, showers. The furniture is left over from movie sets, we'll get to that in a bit. These additional rooms were built in the 50s to accommodate an increase in travelers after World War II. Roy's Cafe was initially a storage room, but Roy's daughter Betty quickly turned it into a cafe. Some of the gas pumps are operational and some of them aren't. Due to a lack of clean water, the kitchen is closed these days. The cafe is more like a gift shop. There are plans to install a reverse osmosis system and reopen the kitchen in the future. At its peak, this town had over 260 residents. So what exactly happened? In 1973, Interstate 40 opened, causing some parts of Route 66 to be bypassed and largely abandoned. Overnight, the town quickly began to die. The Amboy School is located right next to Roy's. This building is the original schoolhouse, built in 1903. The school was located much closer to the tracks in those days. This structure would later be physically moved to its current location. After being moved, it was used as a community center. Next to the original schoolhouse, you'll see these, the newer school buildings. Inside, you'll see books and assignments scattered all over the floor. The classrooms are quite large and probably had different classes going on simultaneously. At its peak, Amboy School had over 60 students, 4 teachers, and a principal. Now it's just a big birdcage. It also has a schoolyard out back. Next to the schoolyard are the houses where the teachers lived. Amboy also has an airstrip dating to the 1920s. It's unregulated, so anyone can land here. In fact, pilots often fly their small private aircraft to Amboy, just for fun. Roy's daughter Betty was an accomplished pilot. This is a hangar where she used to store her plane. Despite Amboy currently having no homes, it does have a working post office. This is St. Raymond's Catholic Church, built in the 1940s. The mural inside was painted by a soldier who was stationed in the area after World War II. This church was active for decades, and despite being almost 80 years old, it's in pretty fantastic shape. Some people lived their entire lives attending this church. It held baptisms, first communions, weddings, and funerals. Next door to the church is the rectory. It's where the priest used to live. The last priest of St. Raymond's retired in the 70s. At the very edge of town, you'll find the Amboy Graveyard. There are over 50 graves here. All of the markers are wooden crosses that bear no inscriptions. We were able to verify that at least a few of these graves belong to children. 
Due to the lack of inscriptions, most of these graves will remain anonymous forever. If you come to visit, please be respectful. Don't touch anything. A popular attraction in the area is Amboy Crater, a dormant volcano. You can hike all the way to the top. Over the years, Amboy has often been used for movies and music videos. That was one of the only ways that the owners of Amboy could make money. Even Brad Pitt has been out to Amboy for filming. Plenty of small budget movies have also been filmed here. One of Enrique Iglesias' most popular music videos takes place in Amboy. I didn't realize it the first few times I watched this video, but these two are getting it on, on the altar inside the church. In 2003, Amboy was listed on eBay for $1.9 million. It was purchased in 2005 by Albert Acura for the much reduced price of 425 k He's slowly restoring the town. The neon sign, for example, was restored in 2019. That marks the end of our little tour. Thanks for watching.